He's considered one of Tasmania's most dangerous criminals, Colin John Sparks. Convicted of the degrading and prolonged sexual attack of a 17-year-old girl in the 1980s, he also raped a pregnant woman in the same decade and planned to rape someone during a home burglary in 1995. Sparks was declared a dangerous criminal in 1997. That means he can't be released from prison even after serving his sentence, that is, unless the declaration is discharged. He's only one of nine offenders who've been given that status in Tasmania's history. Only two have ever managed to get their dangerous criminal status removed. One of them was Chopper Reed, the late notorious gangland figure. We've seen a situation where the reform of a man has occurred and it's been accepted by the highest judge. The other was armed robber Jamie McCrossan. He was released in 2018, but only after serving his sentence and an extra 26 years. Changes to the Dangerous Criminal Act were brought in in 2021, following a review which found the legislation was flawed and outdated. It also found judges were reluctant to make declarations, knowing they'll remain in place indefinitely. Because no psychiatrist or psychologist can ever say about any of us, any of us, that we're zero risk, uh, a person couldn't be released. It was cruel legislation. Now the Director of Public Prosecutions is tasked with reviewing dangerous criminal declarations at least once every three years. The state has the obligation to satisfy the court that the order is still required rather than the offender. There are people in Risdon Prison who, because of this offender status, um, remain there uh, despite the fact that they are now elderly, they pose no risk to the community. The court also has the power to make pre-release and post-release orders. And that allows the, the judge to consider the risk posed to the offender if they take part in programs, for example, in prison before they're released. There are four offenders currently in prison indefinitely under this declaration. They are Colin Sparks, Kevin Bell, Ian Bunbury and Brendan Freeman. As a result of changes to the legislation, the dangerous criminal declaration that keeps each of these offenders in prison will be reviewed. Sparks is going through the court process as we speak, with a hearing set down in the Hobart Supreme Court next month. If it was up to victim survivors, the perpetrators would be locked up um, forever. But unfortunately, we can't do that as a society. They still have basic human rights.